Hello everyone. I want to do a video for you, to, just a quick rundown of all of the new parts and accessories, add-ons that I have for my Trident 660 so far. I've had the bike almost six weeks now, but I started collecting parts and, and you know, adding a stockpile together before I even uh, took delivery of the bike. Uh, I put my deposit down. Uh, around late February, told it was going to be a few weeks. Uh, some people have been waiting a lot longer than that. And uh, I started looking around thinking, okay, I know I'm going to want to do a few things. And then I found a Facebook group called Triumph Trident Riders USA. And that's a great group for sharing ideas, photos, links, videos. Um, and that's where I got a lot of other ideas for things that I wanted to do and where to source parts. That and some other uh, YouTube videos like Motobob and Tech Bike Parts uh, had already done videos where they had fitted some parts and uh, already had success with, with what they were doing with those. Uh, with the installation, everything went really well. I'm enjoying all the parts uh, overall so far. Um, and so this is just my quick assessment on how everything is. I'm going to put links uh, to everything that I bought down below. There are some things that the links uh, aren't good for anymore or they're out of stock, so I, I won't, I'll just have a link to that as well. But so far I've added the Tech Bike Parts adjustable uh, brake and clutch levers, the Tech Bike Parts bolt-on uh, bar end mirrors with the end caps. Uh, I've got blanking plugs from Amazon and Speedo Angels uh, speedometer uh, screen protector and a paint protector from Speedo Angels as well protects the paint on the tank. I had some bolts laying around that I used to, to fill in the, the holes where I took the passenger pegs off, Triumph uh, heated grips, and a uh, license plate cover from Amazon. It's made out of silicone. I did the Triumph uh, USB charger kit. I did a video on I also got a pair of Triumph bobbins for a paddock stand and a Kriega mounting kit for a Triumph Street Triple. Well, let's talk about that one first. Uh, that one, I wasn't sure if it was going to work. I took a gamble and um, but I ran into problems with actually mounting these straps onto the Trident's frame. I could get them mounted fine. They were in good spots for the bag to be able to mount securely. But then I couldn't quite uh, attach the seat back securely. It was interfering with that. So there's lots of good places to do it and it was pretty easy to strap them on, but they just didn't look quite right. Uh, they were going to stick out underneath the seat and just wasn't happy with them. So the uh, Street Triple Kit comes with two little uh, tabs that mount right there onto those uh, bolts that mount into the frame. And uh, so there were similar bolts right there in that spot for, for the Trident. And then there's two other uh, little tabs, little loops that mount onto the bottom of the seat for the Street Triple. And they're in the same very similar spot for the seat. Uh, on the Trident, so it's right where the uh, strap mounts uh, on, the, on the Trident. And so just uh, unscrew those bolts, um, put the washers and the bolt back on and, and mount the, the tabs and you can then, you can uh, kind of, like I did, um, bring them in about 80, about, about 180 degrees and then it doesn't look like you have those tabs sticking out all the time. So otherwise they would be like this, they'd be sticking out. But if you're not going to use your tail bag, you can just um, you know bend those back in, and then you're good to go. Uh, so then, once those are on, you can put the bag on. And uh, if you're if you're like me and you already have a Kriega bag, or you're interested in getting one, and you're wondering if you know they they will fit um, on a Triumph Trident, they will. Uh, it, it's not recommended or it wasn't said specifically that that kit, the one that I got for the Street Triple, would fit on the Trident. So I did, like I said, gamble on that, but it fit fine. Uh, and then so maybe later on they'll actually go ahead and add that to the list of, of things. But they had another one for a um, Street, or sorry, for a Speed Triple. Um, and it was okay. Uh, it looked like it might fit just as well, but the uh, the street triple looked like it was going to be just fine and really happy with it so far. Have not had a chance to actually go and take a 
take a ride with the bag on there, but looking forward to it and I don't expect any problems with the mounting tabs there. Uh, so moving on, I have the, like I said, the tech levers, um, tech bike parts levers. Tech bike parts has a USA website. It doesn't have all of their uh, parts there, but um, it has most of the ones, or at least all the ones that for the Trident um, on their UK website are all, you can also find on the USA website with the exception of the paddock stand bobbins. So everything else is there. So I'm really happy with these level levers so far. The fit and finish is good. It matches the bike really well. The, the black is, is flawless. Some people complain about that Tech Bike Parts logo right in the middle there, but when you're on the bike, you don't notice it. And uh, after a while, I forget it's there too. Also really happy with the mirror so far. Uh, again, the, the, the black finish matches the bike really well. Uh, they're $99 with, that includes the, the end caps you see there, and that is, to, to me, uh, just a really good price. Um, they don't look quite as nice as the Triumph mirrors, but for $99, um, they're, they're a much better value, in my opinion. The blanking plugs are great. You hardly notice it's there. Uh, you don't see all of the... You know, you don't see all the threads there. Uh, they cover it up really nicely. And I also like that it has a smooth top with the knurled sides. Uh, so you can easily take it on and off without tools. And then you don't have, you know, you, you don't have the hex head or anything else to collect water or, or any like grooves for a screwdriver. You don't have that in there uh, to kind of mar the finish because you want it to be nice and clean. I like that one a lot. That one, for some reason, looked like it was out of stock when I um, found the link on Amazon but there are others very similar to it. Uh, then I also have the Speedo Angels uh, speedometer screen cover. Uh, I had read that if you break the the screen or crack that screen, you have to get a whole new instrument panel or um, bezel there, uh, which sounded expensive. And so uh, Speedo Angels, I think I got three of them for $16.95. Um, and so I thought that was a really good bargain as well. Really easy to install. And same thing with the Speedo Angels uh, tank paint cover here. Both of them installed with uh, spraying a soap and water solution on, onto the surface. And then you put the cover on. And then uh, that allows you to kind of slip and slide it and put it into place. Then you take a plastic squeegee, squeeze out all the water, and then it sticks. Um, I also have the Triumph heated grips. Uh, those were not easy to install but they're definitely doable for the do-it-yourselfer now with the tech bike parts levers uh, I started off on a setting of one or maybe two for the clutch and I had a hard time getting it into neutral um, and if you see you can kind of put them all the way out there like it is on the stock clutch and it's still a, a big throw and I think that's what the clutch needs I think it's designed to have a large friction point and be easier for um, new riders to be able to find that pr friction point without it feeling like it's dropping the clutch too bad. Uh, but if you don't give it enough of a throw, it's not going to engage uh, the clutch enough to be able to you know, smoothly shift into neutral. I had these uh, screws laying around when I installed a uh, wall-mounted TV stand. Uh, and those fit right in there perfectly, but you can help find things like that on Amazon as well. All right, so that I also found on Amazon. I uh, got the idea from another um, member of the Triumph Trident or Riders USA forum or a Facebook group. And it's just silicone. I think it was about $15. Um, really good for just covering it up, making, you know, kind of giving the nice uh, black trim matches the. Uh, fent rear fender and lights there a little little better and also you don't have that sharp metal uh, edge of the license plate sticking out and poking you uh, then I've used only used those just a couple of times but it's nice to have that there to uh, lube and clean the chain which I need to do I just cleaned the bike the day before but I need to go ahead and put some fresh lube on the chain as I can see there um, then that's uh Besides all that, that's um, 
pretty much it for so far. But really enjoying all the the parts and accessories, enjoying uh, enjoying the bike, and uh, I have one more coming up. Uh, it's in the mail. I've got the um, quad lock um, mount and wireless uh, charger. So please stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.